Uh, hi, ciao, Glenn. How are you? Very good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. So, Glenn, basically, you are the father of one of my favorite character ever. Uh, I live uh, really close to Becker Street, and I have a Celeti mouse lamp. So, <laughs> I think I'm talking about Ratigan, who yeah. basically the great mouse detective. Oh my God, I love that character. <laughs> it's Thank the you. most best villain ever um i don't know if you ever think about the um, beauty and the meaning of uh, the characters that you have created because you know for for you it's just job it's just work but for us it's really helpful to grow up with our childhood inside hmm. thank you so much for <laughs> for just reminding me about that um The truth is these characters are real to me. I, they live. I, I really feel like they are my children. Um, there's a point in the movie, when the movie comes out, they are no longer on my drawing board. They go out into the world and children believe in them. They aren't like animated characters, these are, These are people that they know and the experiences of that film, of that story, children live it. They, they benefit from what Fei Fei goes through all the way from beginning to end. And it's so important, the adventure, the, the stories are about truth and something good to give them. I believe in the characters so very deeply. The key to Disney animation that I was taught is sincerity. Uh, that if you believe in them, the audience will. Apparently it has for you. <laughs> yeah, for me, yeah. <laughs> and do you have any favorite one? Uh, I probably, if you, Ariel was a wonderful character that I really related to because she believes in the impossible is possible. And when I was reading Audrey's script of Over the Moon, I realized Fei Fei was like that. I mean, building a rocket to the moon to meet a goddess that her mother told her about when she was five years old. Is this possible? It, it, I, I just identified with that. I guess I've always been that kind of a person myself. Oh, lucky for us. Um, Over the Moon, it's an incredible movie. It makes me cry a lot. So thank you. I cry a lot. <laughs> um, how powerful is the magic of cinema, even to elaborate a morning, you know, when you lose someone, how much can help us to process all the, all the feelings? Well, I, I really do think that the, um, the beauty of an animated movie is that we can, we can talk about things that are so very, very real and um, take such maturity to deal with the loss of a parent or the divorce, a child watching her parents split up. Um, how many children in the world are going through that? Are they prepared for it? No, nobody's prepared for that. Nobody's ever prepared to lose people we love. But to have our world shaken up by a pandemic, Faith at one point says, I just want things to go back the way they were. Um, every child will identify with this. Um, every adult will. And so there are symbols that we, we don't talk about it intellectually, we do it visually. We take you to a place called the Chamber of Exquisite Sadness. Um, it's exquisite sadness. It's not It's not sadness that ends in tragedy. It's sadness that brings us from a tears of sorrow to tears of joy. Um, and Fei Fei's hair is a constant reminder of the chaos that she dealt with. And at the end of the movie, I kept her hair like that. I, instead of going back to the way it was, I wanted there to be like this reminder that the pain that we go through becomes part of us and it's a good part of us that we can move forward 
uh, richer, stronger, deeper, more mature. Have you worked as a, as a director before for two short movies, uh, Duet and one with Kobe Bryant, who, give you, who gives you an Oscar? Um, did you put some of that experience in this movie? Um, the, the difference between, like, for me, animating a character, uh, I get... I live in the skin of them, but I don't have to worry about the destination, where we're going mm -hmm. with it. Um, that's in, the map is in the director's hands. Um, I just got to have fun being the character. In this case, and in those other films, I was the director and I did have the map in my hands and I knew how important it is to, to collaborate, to surround yourself with people who are incredibly talented. And as I've been learning, I've been practicing something I call um, reverse mentorship. I surround myself with young people so talented, so good that I'm the one that's being mentored. I'm learning from them. I know that I share <laughs> something from my experience, but in this film, like uh, Brittany Myers, she had this wonderful way of designing characters that felt very close to mine, but something special and extra in it. Working with her or Celine Desrumeaux, my production designer, was a genius in creating Lunaria. And I need these kind of people around me. Um, so I, I'm not sure I'm answering your question, but... No, it's okay. <laughs> so... Um... Have you ever thought about a documentary, maybe of the uncut part of your work with Kobe Bryant to dedicate to him? They, I know they have filmed uh, mm. an enormous amount uh, working with him. And uh, who knows, uh, I, I hope that something like that could be put together. That was kind of the beginning of 2020, this unbelievably crazy unexpected year was the death of Kobe Bryant. Um, and <laughs> I mean, we got together that day at our, our studio and shared our thoughts and cried. And, um, and it was funny how in Kobe, um, there was this determination, no matter how impossible, a moment in his I mean, this guy, nothing could stop him. And in Feifei, there's that same, like, I mean, there's no mamba face, but there was. There was this <laughs> like, determination. She is going to confront and go through the impossible until it seemed like she couldn't do it anymore. But that's where the love of Chin breaks through and, and sets her free. And it, it's just such a beautiful, a beautiful um comparison of those two characters for me. Thank you so much, Glenn. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Sonia. Wonderful to Ciao. talk to you. Thank you. Bye.